make sure you click that subscribe button to be a part of the family and also don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications first hand <laughs> So among this rat race, good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you all are doing good and uh, I have come on YouTube recording a video after a very long time, well the last time I recorded a motor vlog would be the day before I gave my SD cam for repair, so for those of you who own an action camera and are facing technical issues and don't know where to get them fixed well you have an address now the link will be up in the cards go see that video there will be a number given in the description box below of a person you can call him up you can say my name and uh, you will get your camera fixed in no time like i did today is 5th of april 2018 it is 12 10 in the afternoon and uh, dun, 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 dun. i was testing uh, for a few days like i gave the camera for repair like two days back i received it on the very same day but i faced a lot uh, faced a certain amount of problem with the microphone again and I took it to Ravita once more and he repaired it completely free of cost so thank you for that and uh, the mic is supposed to be working fine right now I tested for about two days consecutively at night at daytime you know doing bumpy roads doing straight roads doing good speeds so the mic hasn't shown signs of any distortion as of now but yeah, I'll keep on testing and maybe if this vlog turns out to be good, I'll upload it even. I wanted to make the video about particularly this part. What the... I just... I just pressed the kill switch, I don't know why. So anyways, I... Now that you can see, there are a lot of modifications done on the bike. I wanted to show you particularly what modifications have i done and wanted to make this video particularly about this part uh, so yes uh, first modification that you can see is the windshield this uh, windshield i received from luvia industries i ordered it in back in february first the second week probably but then uh, due to some of their custom issues it got caught up and but now it's here i installed it myself uh, no such hassle just you have to fix those four bolts for the windshield and four bolts which you already get uh, with the bike for the stock windshield those you have to fit the clamp on so that's the windshield it looks really cool it is very helpful uh, compared to the stock windshield well though i didn't i haven't uh, taken it out on the highway as of now but i haven't taken it out on highways as of now with this whole setup uh, basically i haven't had that windshield installed the day i installed all the other modifications So the modifications that you can see right now is a mobile holder, two switches, a bolt charger, the windshield. There are a few things to be done which I will be doing later this month. This mobile holder I got from Wellington, well Saptashi helped me find this. This one is a very good quality though. Normally the ones you would find don't are not this sturdy. I rode at around 130 kmph. Uh, my running in is complete i did 130 kmph i have no shame in that <laughs> my phone i have a galaxy note 8 it is a big phone 6.2 inches so that was on this mount but the phone didn't fall off the phone didn't vibrate nothing it was just completely fine the bolt charger i had already i will be installing the other one later also i have installed this these are the crash guards from Sayadri. Apart from the windshield, everything has been fitted by uh, Saptarshi. Uh, I must have mentioned earlier that he has a garage or a workshop as he likes to call it at his place Pandua. I often visit there so I thought why not get it fixed over there. I mounted two fog lamps. Those are the white LEDs. I'll show you everything. Uh, those are the white LEDs. I fitted them uh, beneath the headlamp and these two yellow ones these are the yellow ones these are uh, on the crash bars yes my setup is fully complete and you must be wondering where am i right now well that is the western hotel and this road is just behind that hotel uh, that my friends is the route which i usually take uh, 
that is the new town bypass major arterial road is what the google maps is showing nowadays but i like to call it a new town bypass that's not less wo bypass se kuch kam hai nahi there is a lot of empty space over here this is cool this is the western building for those of you who know western is a good big brand big chain of hotels they have their branches at pune and mumbai i guess i've heard about pune i don't know about mumbai so this uh, they opened up like a year back maybe maximum and it is still under construction if you can notice yeah classy people classy hotels so yes uh, as you can see the modifications that i have done on the motorcycle is the windshield uh, this is like a very big windshield it might look small so this is one mobile holder the two switches for two leds and this is the bolt charger nothing fancy nothing much few things few modifications have to be done like the saddle stay the top rack these are the things that i am planning to do this month uh, in the month of april this is how the look the motorcycle looks from this angle overall if you ask me how am i satisfied with the how am i satisfied with the quality uh, i am really satisfied with the quality like the crash bars are pretty good they are pretty heavy um, not that it would add a lot of weight to your motorcycle but then it would save you in a time of need the fog lamp mount is quite cheap it has a very good finish it has a matte kind of finish i also added a custom radiator guard i pulled out the stock one like there if you can see there is a uh, there is the radiator guard the things i got from luvia are the radiator guard the fog lamp mount and the windshield these are the three things i got also also i forgot to show you i also added a exhaust guard well what this will do is um, whenever you are riding in the city people tend to you know scrape your uh, silencers or exhaust uh, whatever you want to call it uh, people tend to scrape that by the side so that is why i have added that and it has helped me well two or three times by now as well yes, this is all the modifications that i did on the motorcycle uh, i replaced the number plate to the front but then again i am changing it uh, to where it was before i have clocked 2124 kilometers till now on the bike and uh, i won't be okay i won't be sharing a video about how the bike feels uh, in the long run because i have only ridden 2000 kilometers but one thing i can say one thing i can say for sure is that the bike feels very less vibration i don't know how the 2017 model used to ride but the 2018 model has a little less vibration compared because i see people complaining about vibrations all the time but i don't feel any so i don't know and coming from a honda that thing is supposed to be the one thing that i have to be looking out for but then i don't feel that much of a vibration it's a 400 cc single cylinder motor so you ha you will get a little bit of vibration so that is the f that is one fact that you have to get used to or you have to admit so yes the weather is uh, changing rapidly like there was it was sunny and now all of a sudden it is cloudy so yes uh, that's it for the modification part now i have to go complete my work and after that i'll see you guys if you like the video for whatsoever reason don't forget to press the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please do subscribe press that bell icon for instant updates and uh, share the video with your friends if you or your friend has a dominar share this video with them maybe that would help they will get to know about the modifications that are available on the market i will take your leave now thank you for giving me your time this is uh, this is shanesh ride hard ride safe this is the city of kolkata gear blade signing out